Welcome into the feed where we share the best of the best from social media for the week. I'm your host, Rachel Holt. Let's get to it. The Boston Red Sox are cruising, and at this point, the only question is who is going to outdo who? That's the constant battle between J.D. Martinez and Mookie Betts, who continue to one-up each other. I'm leading in batting average, but I'm leading in dingers. The team doing some market research. How much fun are you having this season? So much fun, all the fun, can't stop, won't stop. Option D, please, all of the above. This tweet, what's the point of this tweet? Well, Craig Kimbrell's beard is glorious and the world needs to know. Almost as awesome as that beard, these skills. Some of the Boston Bruins showed up to Patriots training camp and it turns out one of them may have a future on the football field. Ryan Donato practicing on, kicking some field goals right oh. down the middle. It's no secret that when the Patriots picked up Eric Decker, the team got even better looking. Decker, Edelman, and Brady conversing during the team's first preseason game. Nate Ebner on the bench, not looking too happy, maybe asking, hey guys, did you ever think that maybe there's more to life than being really, really ridiculously good looking? Edelman shared the pick, asking, Nate, you mad bro? Ebner replying, nah, just my resting face, not to mention the terrible story I was probably listening in on too. The McCourty twins celebrated their birthday, so the Patriots shared this video of teammates wishing them a happy B Day. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Jay and Mac. Happy birthday to you. That's enough. <laughs> happy birthday, my brothers, for me and my twin. Yeah, happy birthday. That was super corny, but kind of cute, right? Totes agree. Almost as corny as this. Happy birthday, guys. The Patriots are 2-0 in the preseason, but New England's been there, done that. A team that doesn't win much, the Cleveland Browns. So much so that Bud Light installed victory fridges that are full of beer in 10 Cleveland bars. So when the Browns win their first regular season game, fridges unlock and the beer inside is free to fans. Thoughts and prayers to Cleveland if and when that day comes. You know how everyone made a big deal after Super Bowl 52 that Tom Brady walked off the field before shaking Nick Foles' hand? Well, it finally happened on Thursday night during the Eagles' past preseason game, and now we can all stop talking about it. Sportsmanship is really cool, but fights are awesome too, especially when they involve the Jets. The AFC East division rivals, if you want to call it that, and the Washington Redskins got into it ahead of their game on Thursday. But okay, we'll go back to telling feel-good stories. Mohamed Sanu Sr. shared an adorable moment with his son Jay at Falcons practice, taking turns staying hydrated and drinking okay. some Gatorade. You want to take a knee? Yeah, let's take a knee. Oh, you want to sit? sit? Okay, we can take a knee. Daddy. Yeah? Off. Oh. Okay, I'll take it off. Hey, Daddy. Uh, Daddy's turn? All right. Is this considered dad goals or kid goals? We'll call this Boston Goals. Alert, alert, Gordon Hayward is dunking, and it's awesome. We are following along with every move. Robert Williams wants you to be following him too. After the crossover tweeted out a pic of him, the new Celtic pleaded, tag me fam, I need the followers. Williams is like any 20 year old, if you take away the NBA talent, height, and money. A little irresponsible. Remember, he slept through a media conference call the day after the draft, then he missed the first summer league practice because he missed his flight. Well, it seems like he has a solution. According to Chris Forsberg, Williams said he just got a place right next to the Celtics' new practice facility because it's a two-minute walk and he can't be late. His fellow rookies, DeAndre Ayton and Mo Bamba, clearly two very shy guys, dancing along to Call Me Maybe during a photo shoot. They're having a blast. We had a blast doing the show. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Goodbye.